Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. Now, we left off last time having plotted a small attack into Yugoslavia, just in case we want to, and I have modified it just a little bit so a smaller contingent of men um, flops down the coastline here and kind of skirts around the mountains and takes uh, this port, uh, Dalmatia. Oh, that's Dalmatia's the name of the state. Uh, split. Split, yes, Split. And I was thinking off screen that I might make a concerted effort to manually control battles more. There is a pretty heavy desire to use the battle planner like this. Because of the apps like if you go if you go down battle plan doctrine, I mean right off the bat you get 80% bonus. 80% combat modifier for having planned your attack correctly. That's crazy. That's crazy huge. I've been talking to buddies a lot, and uh, a big common theme that we, we end up coming to uh, very often is that the modifiers are crazy, especially post-1940. If you... If you I, I think the, the a lot of the, the combat modifiers need... I don't know why this turned into a review all of a sudden. I uh, need tweaking. Um, getting like 25, 50, 75%, some, in some cases 100% combat modifiers for one tech is insanity. I, in my in my opinion, um, most techs should give you a 5 to 10% bonus and a, a huge tech like getting man portable anti-tank weapons should be like a 20% increase to heart attack or pier to piercing attack. Uh, giving, you know, the absolute in insane modifiers really makes uh, late game a little bit more boring than it necessarily needs to be. Especially that plus the battle planner means you could pretty much, after like 1940, um, and definitely after 1942, is basically just assign everybody to a field marshal, draw a straight line across the country, and go. But I'm going to make a concerted effort to, to, to control battles a little bit more myself. I definitely find it more interesting. All right, we uh, we don't have a lot of alpine divisions. I might end up bringing in more of those though. Regular divisions are pretty good. Uh, we have a combat width of sixteen. Um, you could bring that up to about twenty. I think. I think everybody will use a. Uh, uh, yeah, it says right here. A uh, combat width tells you how much room the division can take. For example, combat with a total of eighty can fit four divisions with a width of twenty. Okay, yeah. Um, I believe opening up a another front in in battle gives you like 20 more combat width I want to say. I'm not positive though. What is this? Ask for familiar uh ask for military access requested from Nationalist Spain accept. And we're we're doing decent on resources. We're running deficits on a lot of stuff, but not huge deficits is what's good. All right. Um I don't want to do this. I really, I, I, what I really need to be doing is helping them out as best as I possibly can. I love that the Italians, the Japanese, and the Germans all have expeditionary forces here. With my my armored assistance, we are able to make decent progress. I love it. I'm starting to like the 3D models, but. The thing about the 3D models is that I I, I kind of like them, but I, at the same time, I wish I could turn them off and get the the detailed counters back. That gave you a lot of info. That would be something that was nice. And I don't think I can I don't I don't think I can have planes over there that would help out. I mean, I could always try though. Let's see if I like like if I don't know not naval bombers. Although naval bombers, I've I'm having a profound uh, love for these days. Uh, oh, if we brought planes? We... No, it won't let me bring planes over. No, there's, I feel like there should be a mechanic for that, right? I mean, that was something that Germany and... and the Soviet Union did, where they sent uh, their, their, their more modern air forces over to suss things out, basically. MPs. I feel like I should do MPs just because I'm I'm always lacking on... I, I always am behind the times on that. 
Uh, manpower. Oh, oh, that's so good. Reliability, 25%. Um, but, like I said, I'm gonna do MPs because generally what happens is I don't start researching them until I need them. And then I'm, 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 I'm boned. Starting to get a little surplus of tanks. I, I'm working on better tanks right now. Yeah, the L6. Although, frankly, I'm not really up to date. I don't, know, I don't have a, a profound knowledge of Italian tanks other than the fact that they weren't very good. Alright, I'm thinking that because Italy's going to be doing a bunch of Africa stuff. Low supply units are going to be pretty in, important. So, like, if we pop up in the... Yeah, like, look how much... Look at the supply levels. E well, in Ethiopia, it's better because, you know, we were... We, we had the focus to add... What's it called down there? And what we should probably actually do... These guys, they are in a... In an army already. So we can actually set them up. And then put another front line here. Oh, God. This is something I don't understand. Why? <laughs> you can't you can't draw a front line past multiple countries for one army. I found that very problematic playing as Germany and wanting to crush through Luxembourg with the battle plan because I like what I wanted to do was have in an arm there was I had a mixed army um, of that had some tanks and some infantry. I wanted them to go through the infantry to go through Luxembourg and the tanks to go through here and <laughs> you couldn't draw a battle line past two, uh, along two countries' borders with one army. It was... I, I found that very peculiar. Man, I am bitching a lot this episode. Gotta stop that. Improved arty. That might be a good idea. Got 50% on that. Haven't really done anything on my navy yet. Or my air force. Hmm. Just trying to take a browse here, see where we want to go. Support battalions are always good, but we're low on support equipment as it is, so, and we're working on that. We can do artillery. We're working on that. We could start working on the Navy if we wanted to. Although, we, I, I bet, you know what? Um, I think some of the focuses gives me Navy stuff. Submarine operations, convoy sailing, um, and then battle fleet concentration. That's good. Probably going to be wanting to do something like that. Maybe start working on our Air Force a little bit. Because we definitely are low here. Operate well. Strategic destruction, I don't think, is going to be us. Let's see, interception, ground support, naval mission efficiency, interception. Well, that's all air superiority. Agility, air support. Nighttime strategic bombing, daytime strategic bombing. Mass bomber formations, fighter escort, escort efficiency. Escort efficiency? Can you actually tell your fighters to escort bombers? Bomber defense. Defensive oper formations. That's strategic bombing. I mean, I almost always end up going... Well... I go through here often. I don't go through here a lot. Ground support. Fighter detection. Air support. Agility, naval mission efficiency, air superiority mission, tactical bombing, strategic effect, visibility. Kind of feel like just going through battlefield support is going to be the way to go. So we'll go through battlefield support. That's kind of the German tree. All right, they're attacking me there. Where are my other? There's my other tanks. Surrounded. They got themselves surrounded, and by they got themselves surrounded, I mean I wasn't paying attention. But we can get out of that pretty easily. Uh, they should be in poor supply. Modernized army. I think that gave me... Research bonus for Recon Company. Uh, one, Recon Company 2, and Recon Company 3. Oh, balls! I shouldn't have done Recon Company 1. I thought it was just... No, I read that wrong. That's my fault. And land doc two for, for Land Doctrine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, paratroopers, Paratroopers 2, Mountain Infantry 2. Prospect for oil. Kind of want that oil. 
Do I want to claim Yugoslavia just yet? Or do I want to start working on some of this other stuff? So that's naval doctrines in there. Okay, we, well, we could do the... I, I'm more interested in the air right now. That'll give me 50% research bonus on a bunch of planes. And air doctrines. Not any particular air doctrines, so... It's not really going to matter that much. Armor, that's armor tech. But I'm not going to go too far past what I, I'm at now, so I think we can wait on that. Why don't we get Mara Nostrum first? So that we can get those free docks. Japan declared war on Shanxi. Let's uh, see if we can wipe these guys. My dog's got my pant leg right now. It's swiveling me around in circles in my chair. <laughs> yes, you are a funny pooch. I was actually talking with my wife recently about me uh, going full-time on YouTube, which would make my dog absolutely ecstatic. She would be so happy about that. Because that would mean I was, I'd be home with her a lot more. Yeah, we're going to get out of this pretty easily. They definitely encircled my forces, but we're going to get out of it pretty easily. Germany sent their mountain divisions. Geber, gear, gear, blah, 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 blah. That's how I pronounce German words. I get the first syllable that I make up the rest. Let's see here. How are we doing tank-wise? We're getting 2.5 tanks a day. That's a lot better than we were at. That, that's not too bad, really. I do enjoy having tanks as Italy. Hopefully we can get some some slightly better ones. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? The um, the fact that they removed the cooldown from, from combat units after they've engaged in combat, I'm finding a odd choice. Because it, it, it makes the game a little bit more arcadey than I'm than I'm used to, but that's okay. These are the ships we've recently constructed. Uh, not too many of them. Uh, let's actually go to our production lines. I am going to like I'm going to be making battleships out the wazoo, but I am going to be making some carriers. Um, but once we get the battle fleet, or once we get some of those uh, the focuses that gives us a boost to ship classes. Then we shall research. Uh, I'm thinking probably get up to the second level of aircraft carrier, then just stick with that one. I don't want to make the tier one ones. All right, so let's see what we got going here. Let's help these guys out. Yeah, bitches. Oh, they took that. Jesus Christ. We're, we're, we're it's, it's a very back and forth kind of thing now. We're not making huge, huge amounts of progress. They have a lot more units than us. They definitely have more units than us, and I think that they're, they have enough of the factories to not have to worry about supplies as much as they used to. Because this could potentially go for a long time. Is there a way to... Can, like, if I say I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this, can you say... Send volunteers. Uh, return expeditions. Don't have any. Okay. Cancel their military access. Ask for a justify a war goal. So there's not a way to take it back. If we say we're gonna lose and we don't want to actually, we don't want those guys wiped out. There's no way to say get them back. Well, we got four divisions pinned down right there. That's pretty good. Uh, the other option would be to try to increase the striking power of our tanks. We could always do that. Let's see. Right now, they're a combat width of 22. And they're cavalry, they're motorized, and they're these guys. We, when we can, we can add some recon, uh, a recon company in there to make them a little stronger. That's going to be support equipment. I don't think we had, though. Actually, we did have a small surplus of it. And we do have a surplus of tanks now, so we can put in more tanks. Do we have a surplus of arty? We have a little su surplus of arty, but I'm pretty sure adding artillery straight in here like this, yeah, that's gonna really knock down our speed. Let's save that. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make these guys uh, fighting fit, strong, 
and powerful. And I'm assuming that the tanks won't be delivered while they're in combat. Oh, look at this guy causing chaos in the backfield. Uh, the, the AI garrisoning ports like this is not something I... What are you doing? What, is it shipping its units somewhere? Where are you shipping your units to? I demand you let me know. Alright, well, we need to go back and plug this gap because they won't. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks like, well, the Republican forces took Zarazoga. Is that what it is? Zaragoza. Zaragoza. And blew open a hole in the line, which is unfortunate. Alright, so we're, we're good here. Working on that. We got that cut. We're going to get that cut. We're not going to do this until we have uh, got the 50% the bonuses. Working on that. I guess we can get either... We can get Recon 2 pretty easily. Reconnaissance. We're only 0.1 years ahead on, on this stuff. So, I'm thinking Cavalry Soft Attack, Motorized Soft Attack, Mechanized Soft Attack, Leg Infantry Soft Attack. And this is Defense. Uh, we're gonna, we're more interested in attack right now, so we're gonna go with that. I mean, they should have had enough weapons and stuff stocked up. Well, th well, this might actually work out well for us because they should be able to get supplies back here, unless of course the AI is 100% incapable of closing off the gap. Like, where did it put the, all those units? It shipped them somewhere. If they pulled everybody off the line, and then sh and shipped them out, and I don't know where they went. Grand battle plan. Not that that's a big deal. Ooh, we have free civilian factories. Um, I don't know if this is going to be entirely worth it yet. I I'm thinking I'm still at the point where I want to build more civilian factories, although I don't have a lot of room to build. I don't want to build down in Ethiopia. Let's do this. That's, that's four more. That's six more. That's eight more. Alright. And then let's switch over and we'll go like... We'll just kind of spread them out a little. Military factories. Alright, and this is defense and organization. Let's go for it. You know, these guys should be getting their upgraded everything. Well, did they? I mean, they've been in combat. 180. It says 180. They haven't gotten there yet. So you are screwed because you're cut off. That sucks. Oh, you guys have no idea how much I dis. They're 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 falling back and they're shipping their units out and I'm I'm like the only one left on the battlefield now. They're just swarming around me. Oh, I'm going to lose these. These guys are going to get overrun like a motherfucker. anti turn Pact. So, we signed a pact recognizing the aim of the Communist International, known as the Comintern, to distract and subdue existing state of the Communist Convention. Okay, so this would, this is me, the, the, me in Germany going, yeah. anti turn Pact. Penny of the German Reich. Anti-commenter. Okay, so I don't really necessarily... I, I think I will go with this for now. Oh, Republican Spain, you're a cock goblin. These, these are not mutually exclusive. I could do all these if I wanted to. Capital ship. Yeah, tw yeah. Okay, okay. Those are, those are all feasible. Um, let's do air innovations right now. So I start getting better planes. Uh, convoy sailing, convoy sailing, and convoy sailing. Convoy sailing, convoy sailing, convoy sailing? What? That's peculiar. Okay, uh, that's weird. Well, why don't we get the carrier effort out of the way? So this is the one we're building one of. I want I want that done. 
All right. Well, it looks like I might be able to escape by sneaking up around this way. Oh, I got across the river at least. So where did they did they ship them over to this little pocket over here? Oh, what a moron! Oh, so stupid. All right, you got you guys need to leave. I need to get out of this little pocket that's been created here. They're attacking me real hard right here, and I don't know if he's going to be able to survive it because he doesn't have a shit ton of organization. I mean, he is... His his levels are amazing right now. Commander skill, experience, modified by 200%. Jesus Christ. But I'm... It definitely looks like they shipped everybody over here. They pulled everybody off the line and shipped them over here. Oh, why would you do that, AI? <laughs> Makes no sense. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. I'm so I'm so like personally distracted by everything that's going on down here that I'm not paying attention to what's going on, with, with, you know, the, the greater world elsewhere. I was really hoping to actually overrun some of these units. I don't know if I'm going to be. I, I'm trying to chase them down real hard. If I could overrun them. That, you know, three three divisions here. That'd be a huge boon. Although, now we're going to need to actually try... It, 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 it was like the AI made a concerted effort to just f completely turn the tables on themselves. Uh, I think I've decided that, that every time they've come out with a big patch, I might be doing... I might be redoing a Germany series. Uh, just because that's pretty standard. You know, in addition to everything else I'm doing. Um... The, the, the first patch has been um, announced, th well, it's been suggested that they're going to be working on uh, air balancing, AI, uh, the way inv naval invasions are handled, things like that. All right, what do we got down here? Military high command. Thinking this stuff. Well, what do we got for chief of the army? Morale or different recovery rate, division speed, division defense. Um... What do we got down here? Division recovery rate, infantry attack, infantry division defense, air tactical, anti-submarine naval, capital ships. So that's... I don't think cavalry count as infantry. Do they? I'm assuming that means like leg infantry. Or should we want to do like this stuff? Because this is research time. Let's do research time. Trying desperately to break out of this terrible situation the AI put it in. I'm pretty sure that's what it did. It it pulled them off the front line, shipped them all the way around to Barcelona, and then <laughs> and double backed on itself. This guy, like, I want to, as much as I want to keep t attacking with this guy. Total attrition, bad supply. Um, I, I want his organization to be get up. If I tell him to retreat, would that be a total disaster? And are you getting your new tanks in? Oh, good, he is. I don't necessarily know if I want to make it any bigger than that because... Or put in any more tanks because it's already causing supply issues. Alright, so that should make him a heavier hitter. I mean, they're light tanks, but... I'm just trying to avoid encirclements here, but... God damn it, AI. What what have you done to me? <laughs> AI did not want to win that war. I, can I send any more men over? I don't know if that's a thing. I think once you send them, that's their sent. We already have volunteers, yeah. If we could cut off these guys and destroy them, that'd be great. Overrun, 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 overrun. Come on, you're faster than him. Damn it, that was not an overrun. Now, this guy, you should have your... You have your tanks. And this guy, he has his tanks as well. And they got their support equipment. So we're looking good on supplies now, which is awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. 
And I mean, combat wits for these guys, I'm not terribly concerned about, considering the fact that they're basically fighting alone. It's just the two of them out, out and about here. Still, still making efforts. We're still trying to make this work, and it's almost 1938. Oh, that's why I kind of battle planned the other thing. Experience out the wazoo for these guys. Maybe we can destroy these guys? They should... I'm, oh, no, they're going to retreat into France, aren't they? I bet France gives them... Yeah, they're going to retreat into France. So this is not going to turn into a... Uh, a destruction kind of thing, although the German units are fucked. Oh, God. Oh, no. I mean, right now... I'm just interested in getting these guys as strong, th these particular units as strong as possible. So that we can do our best to turn the tides of this battle. Although, like I said, the AI is pretty intent on, on fucking it up. Uh oh. Oh, we took the Aeroga back. There it goes, uh, if we can ever pronounce it correctly. Although, pretty much everything else has fallen. All these units have been driven out of this pocket. The problem is, is they're just ret they're going to retreat into France, get onto ships, and go back all, all the way around because France has granted them military access. Which I mean, I understand. It's not entirely surprising. We got a, we got a surplus of tanks. Uh, relatively soon, yeah, we should start producing the L6s. I just want, I want to destroy this pocket so the AI will stop being distracted with them. I, ooh, Panzers, the 8th Panzer Division. Oh, come on, come on, Germany, come on. You know you want, you know you want to Panzer it up. Now, you guys should have all your new equipment as well. Yep, they do. Combat with 30. Six, eight cavalry, four motorized, three light tank. Which is fine. Yeah, we have we have a combat width of 30. They have a combat width of six. So we're, our, our divisions are huge. They're just smashing past the... Uh, you know, pretty much flanking them. Oh, who's this? Germany, come on. Germany, come on. You're sitting there. Uh, you're just sitting there, Germany. Get your head out of your your tuchus. Get your head out of your butt there. All right. So how about we swing around here and help this guy out, then call it an episode. L six. All right. Well, there's that. There is that. Oh, we're not going to do anything more on tanks right now. I don't think. Whew. All right, let's get this better infantry equipment going. Then we're going to go to production. We're going to switch our tank, our L3 production line out to the L6s. Uh, it'll start replacing the tanks with L6s at a rate of one per day. But what we can do is, I mean, how much, we have some, you know, artillery is always something you need more of. But we are going to leave this episode right here. I really wanted to see if we could take that guy out before. Yeah, well, we're almost there. Kerplow, right in the flank. And this guy will overrun. Right? I think if we get there first, it's an overrun. Oh. Okay, there. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. All right, folks, we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like, leaving those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.